I think it's because I spent so much time in the shoe is that now I take my time like this every single day, whether it be early in the morning or midday or whatever, man. I come out here and I catch some sun. When I tell you that I love my freedom, <laughs> y'all, I wholeheartedly mean this. Like, I, this is when I connect with God. I need some alone time on a daily, like even if it's nighttime, whenever. This is something that you of course don't have in prison much less in the shoe you come out one hour a day you're 23 hours locked in this cell so it's like what do you do you read books if you have books of prison or counties don't have them i read like my whole bible y'all this is why you're probably gonna hear me speak on this a lot and my knowledge and my thoughts on that yo me voy en un, yo me voy en un viaje la neta a veces escarbando como que la biblia because i had a lot of time to read it and I ask God the hard questions and I get answers. So <laughs> if you're ever done with that, I'm the person that you want to come to for that because I enjoy speaking on stuff like that. I really do. Because I had so I've had so much time, right? But yeah, speaking on the shoe, um you just wait for them to feed you two to three times a day. I don't even remember how many times they feed you in prison. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's two or three, but it's with like the little what's it called them slots or whatever. Um, they give you this tray and you just you just wait for each other. That's how you know what time it is because of the time that they're feeding you. Sometimes if you're lucky, you have like a little window on top, right? And um, you can see outside sometimes a freeway. Most of the time that I did in the show, you could see like the cars just passing by. And I used to think like, man, I wonder when I'm gonna ride a car again, you know? We used to get taken out like me because I was pregnant. So I used to go out like to the clinics, right? and get like my prenatals or whatever checkups all that and i used to like ride in the vans and see the real world people even thought I was like in my orange you know suit right <laughs> man sometimes i'm like how did i just go out like that and not even i mean i mean it's not like what could i have done anyway right it's like you just you gotta go out there chained up and handcuffed to the doctor but you know that's to me that was exciting because i used to get out you know i used to get get out and catch some sun but other than that it was just me and my little baby y'all in there um this whole wall i wrote like on this whole wall y'all i'll never forget this and if you ever been to falfurrias texas county back in the early 2000s and you were happen to land in the shoe <laughs> With somebody like that, like drew the city of Houston and like Houston in big ass like English letters. That was that was me. <laughs> that was me, y'all. I shaded the whole wall. And I'm not even an artist. I don't even draw, but that's probably my biggest art that I've ever done. And the guards didn't even tell me anything. They just let me just just write it up like that, man. And um, that's what I used to do. I used to spend my time doing that sometimes they'll take you out like if you want to go watch tv or something for us they used to take us out to like the like the pods or whatever but then there was beef right this is when fights broke out sometimes or people are just look people in prison are just irritable you know because they are missing their families they don't know when they're getting out they probably just got sentenced they're having their worst days right so all you can do is just play cards watch tv if you're not in the shoe but if you're in there, man, you get creative, you start writing, you start reading, you start just thinking, right? Some people start plotting <laughs> on how they're probably going to get people back when they get out. <laughs> like, wow, I make this whole time. I was locked up worth when I get out. Dude, that's some savage-ish, right? But like this one, this is when people say that the hole is not for rehabilitation. That's, let's, let's just be honest if if you were in the shoe long enough the people next to you around you you're gonna hear them go crazy you're gonna hear people lose their ish man for real after a long time in the shoe you'll go crazy this is why sometimes they'll pull you out right at least to see people but most of the people that go crazy like that is because they are probably like in super max and they don't even have like human contact with anybody right that's got to be hard that's got to be hard so in other words <laughs> we love our freedom i love my freedom i gotta do this every day y'all gotta hear the birds i gotta feel the sun as long as i want to not as long as they tell me not that hour's up right i want my freedom i don't care where it is i really don't care where it is 